Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's another what I eat in a day video. And this is how I normally start off my mornings, a good cup of green tea. This is the Lipton Green Mint Tea. I love it. The aromas are everything. They wake me up in the morning. I have to start off my morning with one of these. It's, it's a must. Now on this morning, I was really, really feeling for rolled oats and yep, headed onto the stove and made myself a good pot of rolled oats. As you know, I do not take sugar anymore, so my sugar substitute is honey. So I took the rolled oats, added a little bit of honey, also cinnamon, as you can see, and I added it onto the plate. So normally I pour just about maybe about four tablespoons. If I'm feeling a little bit, you know, hungry, I will add a little bit, maybe five, but yeah, normally it's about four tablespoons of rolled oats. And this one I absolutely love because it is from Dischem. It's from the Spice um, range, I think. Spice range of rolled oats. It is absolutely balls. Now, I was feeling like a little bit sweet toothish this day. Normally that's how I feel on weekends. So I added some chalk chips to my oats because honey, chalk chips make everything all right. So I add a little bit of chalk chip uh, nibs to the oats. And after that, I will then add a little bit more cinnamon. Yes, because this is, this is how I roll. This is how I roll. Add a little bit more cinnamon, add it to the oats. And oh my gosh, the aromas, guys, everything. So I was fresh out of almond milk this day, so I just went in with just normal clover milk, full cream milk, just added a splash of milk to my meal, and that was it. That was essentially my breakfast. Oh, look at that mess. Yep, clean it up, girl. So that was essentially my breakfast. Popped in a little bit of tea, had that with my oats, and look, look, it just looks so pretty. And you know when those chocolate nibs melt in your mouth? Holy mackerel. Delicious. Oh my gosh. So I cannot stress the importance of water. I always, in between my meals, in between my snacks, have water and tea. This is just how I get my hydration in. This is how I get my water intake in. I have about four liters of water a day. And I don't know, countless amounts of tea, and I absolutely love it. It's just, it's just part of the staples. That's just how it works from now on. Mm -hmm. Now, for my mid-morning snack, I was really craving the, look, my staple, okay? Peanut butter and banana on brown toast. So I toasted up some bread, as you can see. There's one banana there. And, oh, my fave lately, Omega Almond Butter, guys, delicious. You can get this at Discam for about 90 bucks. Took some of that, spread it onto my toast. I normally use low GI bread, but fresh out of low GI bread that day. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you got to make do with what you got. So I added a little bit of the peanut butter onto the toast, as you can see. Oh, my gosh, the smell, the smells. It's all about the smells, honey. Okay. From there, I took the banana, I chopped it up into little, that's me chopping it up, mm -hmm, into little uh, rounds, and I added the banana onto the bread with the peanut butter. Guys, something about peanut butter and banana goes really, really well. It's, it's just something, it's amazing. Something about the fusion. Yeah, you want to fusion. What happens in your mouth when you eat that? Oh my lord. So I added the banana pieces onto the bread. And of course, I just felt like I needed a little bit of an extra pizzazz, right? So I took some chia seeds, which you can see there. Mm -hmm. They're your chia seeds. I took some chia seeds, which are really, really high in protein as well. They're really, really good. And I added some of the chia seeds onto my bread, on top of the banana. And guys, woo, lord. And as you can see there, and then I chopped up the bread into half. 
I was just at this point I was salivating like I just wanted to eat this thing already like I did not understand why I was taking forever but yeah I chopped it up and I couldn't even wait until I got to the sofa like I just really just like dug in and take a bite <laughs> yep I did I took a proper bite of that even before I could get to the couch and eat and oh lord this is one of the best mid-morning snacks for me especially when I'm chilling at home I really, really love this while I'm doing work or watching TV or anything really it's just a really great snack and it's healthy too so because I was going out this day I couldn't prepare lunch at home but I wanted to take something that I could snack on while I was in the car or wherever I was going I don't quite remember so I took two oranges and as you can see I chopped them in quarters did that with one orange did that with the other orange and then as you can see on the right hand side of the screen I've got nuts so I've got cashew nuts and walnuts and raisins as well and then the top right I've also got those seeded bars that I spoke about in my previous video of my healthy snacks yes so I pretty much chopped all of the oranges up and added uh, these things into a little sort of like what do you call these things um, plastic bag and I took them with me on the road and look it was a great snack in between before I could you know eat something else but this was a really really good in between for me as you can see I've packaged it all up I've got the nuts and the raisins together the oranges and the snack bar and I don't even think I ate everything I pretty much ate the oranges and the nuts but yes worked out perfectly well great snack healthy too no sugars no nothing good stuff and then as you can see it was later on in the day and it was dinner time so as you can see right there is four tablespoons of brown rice brown and wild rice and then I've got like six little olives I love olives but I can't have too much of them and then that was like a beef strips in some pasta sauce something something protein and then of course those are grated beetroots which were delicious and greens so cucumbers and salad greens and yep yeah, that consisted of my dinner meal all right so plating up everything first things first I added the rice to my bowl you guys might know I really love eating out of bowls I don't like eating out of plates I don't know why I'm more of a bowl person so anyway I added the rice to the bowl and then from that I added my greens so those are cucumbers and salad greens I pretty much weighed everything um, this consisted maybe roughly about 250 to 300 grams of strictly greens you must have more greens on your plate than brown foods so the beige brown foods no honey you must have mostly greens on your plate so then from the greens I then added the beetroot the grated beetroot and I added that right on top of my greens just a little bit of kalanyana from there I added my olives my six little olives <laughs> I try to stay away from olives you know too many is not too good for you and this was something I prepared earlier on in the day so I just had beef strips and a little bit of pasta sauce with some spinach as well and mushrooms if I remember correctly but yeah I just whipped it up and I added all of that to the plate as you can see it's mostly greens on my plate very very important Ooh, take that girl yeah chew on that mm, that's okay that's okay that's your food girl that's your food girl mostly greens a little bit of beige which is the rice and then of course protein but very very good for you this is really really good and then just for a little bit of flavor I added the fresh honey and balsamic salad dressing because you know don't nobody like a dry salad come on let's be honest who wants a dry salad no so I added that a little bit over my greens just for a little bit of taste it's also nice and sweet as well so if you're somebody who likes sweet dressings you're really really gonna love that and then after that I added of course seasoning which is pretty much salt and pepper and this is pretty much how my dinner meal looked so it's a lot of greens as I said mostly greens minimal beige and protein 
and yeah that's how I prepared it and I think on this night yeah I don't think you're gonna see it I had this meal with a bottle of water and that's how I kept it clean and this is normally how I eat on an everyday occasion I guess I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up like subscribe and if tell me if you'd like to see more okay all right i'm gonna go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah thumbs up like subscribe let me know if you'd like to see more of these as i said i'm repeating myself until the next one i will see you guys very very soon bye